Hey girls, hey, welcome, welcome. It's Tanya Trombley coming live, sharing some insight. Um, I have to also say, hey, you guys. Um, some of my guys that actually follow me, they keep calling me out because I never recognize them. So if there is any guys watching, thanks. I hope um, something I can say helps all of you. So welcome. If you're watching live, drop a number one. If you're watching the replay, drop a number two. And if you think something I'm going to share could help anyone with healing or help them just give them a hug, give them some love, um, share my video and put shared so I can give you a shout out. I appreciate that. I come to you daily to help inspire and um, lift you women up to go outside your box and do God's journey. So today I want to share my dragonfly story. I did a post, I believe it was Saturday or Sunday, it was on Earth Day, and I had a dragonfly had landed on my um, pull screen. And so I put my hand out and the dragonfly got on my hand. And so I held it and then I took a picture and I shared that with you. Um, and I told you I'd come live this week to share my dragonfly story. If you have not heard my dragonfly story, um, you might want to get your tissues. Um, sometimes I even need tissues too. I just, you never know. Um, if you have heard it, I hope just listening to it again inspires you. Hey Monique, I'm sending you love and I'm sending you prayers, girl. You got this. I love you. So I wanted to share my story. Um, I decided older in my life, I, I got married and I decided I was going to have a family. And it's funny how we decide we're going to have a family, right? So I decided I was going to have a family. I was going to be a mom. I was ready. It was my timing, right? Which we are quickly reminded is not our timing. So um, I was 36 and we decided, hello from Germany, Maggie. Hello. I decided, thanks for sharing, Mon Monica, that I wanted to be a mom and we were going to have a child. So my husband and I, um, we, you know, started picking names and we started, you know, thinking everything and, and thinking it's going to happen quickly and it did not happen quickly. Um, however, in three months it did finally happen and, um, I was pregnant and so I was pregnant. Thanks for sharing Kendra. I was pregnant with my first child and, um, I remember it was just so, so amazing and, um, everybody was excited. The whole town was sending me, you know, congratulation cards. At the time I had owned a spa and so, um, all my customers were coming in congratulating me. Uh, the whole town was sending me flowers and cards. It was like this big, big excitement and news. Everybody was so excited for me. I was an older parent too. So they're probably thinking about time, Tanya, right? So, um, it was such a big celebration in our life. Um, my husband's dad, was alive at that time and he celebrated and we were just so excited and I remember one day at work at the spa I worked at I started to believe so my mom rushed me to the doctor because I was considered high risk because I was older and she rushed me to the doctor and um, we you know unfortunately um, we were told you know that I lost the baby um, so that was my first loss um, my second loss was a couple months later and um, again I went to the the doctor and we didn't we thought everything was great I think I was two months in and um, we went to the doctor and my I remember my mom was at the beach and she like do you want me to go we're like no no me and my husband have it me and big daddy and we're going we got this and thanks for joining live. If you're watching live, drop a one. And if you're watching replay, drop replay in the comments. Hey, Miss Lexi. So um, we went to the doctor and the doctor said there was no heartbeat. So again, we lost our second baby. I shared with my mom and my mom was devastated. My mom was at the beach. And I don't know about you. Let me backtrack a little bit real quick. If you do share, put share in the comments. Thank you. And I'll make sure to give you a shout out. Um, do you have something that just resonates with you? It reminds you maybe of loved ones or I know a lot of times when people lose loved ones, they, they resonate with cardinals, red cardinals. And every time they see a red cardinal or a butterfly, they think of their loved ones. It's just like it brings peace to them. Do you have something like that? If you do, drop it in the comments what it is. Um, mine is dragonflies. I, when I was younger, lost um, my best friend. Her name was Tanya, and she was 14. And after I lost Tanya, um, like dragonflies just started showing up in my life. And then throughout life, when I lost a couple more people, dragonflies just kept showing up. And like we could be somewhere, and the dragonflies, they hover over me. 
they, they like hang out by me they get on my shoulder they'll, they'll come in my hand thanks for sharing ginger um, like wherever I'm at they're, they're they'll hover over me they won't mess with anybody else they won't mess with anybody else in the crowd or in the pool or whatever but they come around me so mine's always been dragonflies so I have this thing for dragonflies so as we were going to the doctor um, my mom was walking the beach thanks for sharing Margie and um, she said this dragonfly kept hovering over her and she was just like gosh you know what's going on with this dragonfly and she's walking the beach and the dragonfly kept flying around her head and just hovering over her and this is before she heard the news of me losing my baby so when uh, Lexi's sunflowers yes that that's a good one and I know who that's for um, and so anyways, my mom went back to the beach house and, um, you know, the dragonfly followed her to the beach house and everything and mom didn't think nothing of it. So when I called my mom and shared the news, um, the next morning, my mom had come out of the beach house and at the doorstep was the dragonfly dead. She swears it was the same dragonfly that was hovering around her on the beach. It was the same dragonfly and it was just like a... Um, just like impact like we lost the baby and then here's this dragonfly and she took the dragonfly because it had the same colors I mean she's she explained it looked like a leopard I love leopard and she explained there was the same dragonfly falling around her and hovering over her and then when we were told the baby had passed here's this dragonfly that passed so she kept the dragonfly and she made a shadow box for me so I wanted to show it to you Isn't it pretty? It looks like a little leopard. So she brought the dragonfly home and she shared her story with me, which was just like, oh my gosh, you know? And then she put it in a shadow box. So I keep that dragonfly with me all the time. I just put it in the car so I could share my story with you and share how sometimes um, we're, we're, we're brought these reminders. We're brought reminders of what we loved and, and maybe something that passed and just to remind us you know it's like a you know a little kiss on the cheek to remind us that they're okay and to remind us that you know we'll see them again one day and just a little beautiful um reminder from god and so whatever it is that you have that that brings you that that peace and that reminder um like some of you're saying feathers some of you're saying um you know butterflies or whatever take the time to appreciate the reminder take the time to thank you God yes God winks Debbie for sure God winks thank you for sharing girls God winks for sure take the time so when it was Earth Day last week and, and, and this dragonfly was there I was just like oh my gosh Jordis came running inside mom mom dragonfly so I go outside and I'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh so I'm like don't move don't touch it so I put my hand out hoping that it would come it would get on my hand which I kind of knew it would because they always do. It's just, I don't know, y'all. It's sometimes you have that something you're connected with. I'm connected with dragonflies, okay? So I put my hand out knowing it would get on my hand. And I told her, I said, go get my camera. And just be, just don't run, don't be crazy. Go get my camera. And so she got my camera and I took a picture of it. And I just sat there and I looked at it and I looked at its beautiful wings and it was leopard and it looked just like my my dragonfly here that's passed away looked just like it and I was looking at it, it was a little bit bigger so maybe it's grown up right and so I was like took a picture and then I went and I placed her and I'm saying her I don't know if it's a her or a boy but I placed her in my butterfly garden and I put her on the prettiest plant that was there and I just sat there take the time it was a sweet reminder. And sometimes the reminders are hard. Sometimes those little things that come in remind us of the person we lost or, or something we lost, and it might be hard. But even through the trials, even through the person we lost and the love, they're still sent us reminders that they love us. They're, it's okay. We'll see them again. Right? And, and how amazing is that? And to know that one day when I go to heaven, I'm going to have three babies, actually five, sorry, five babies running to me, and they're going to know exactly who I am. I lost three with um, Big Daddy. After that second one we lost to the dragonfly, I lost a third one. 
And then I was blessed with Jordis. And I lost twins before my husband. So anyways, with my ex, um, like that's amazing. Like those little reminders are things that we're supposed to remember. So if you lost a loved one, does it ever get easier? I don't think it ever gets easier. I think we just learn how to deal with it. And I saw a post today and I want to tag, if someone can tag, um, Jenny Taylor, Jenny Taylor. And I'm trying to think who I just saw on here that might know Jenny Taylor. Um, anybody on here that's from Ashley Robinson's leg team, if you know Jenny Taylor, tag Jenny Taylor, but I will tag her if we don't get her tagged. I want Jenny to hear this. I saw, hey Maddie, hey beautiful Maddie. I saw Jenny's post this morning and she, Patty, yes, please tag Jenny Taylor. And Jenny was sharing the loss that she had experienced last year. And I knew, you know, of her loss of her, her child. And I hope that she hears this and I hope that she can find some more healing and some more peace. And if you know anybody that has lost babies, and, and this could be lost for anybody, like if they've lost any loved one, please share this and hopefully it'll help them. But even if especially babies, because I just want to encourage you women who have, thank you Tamara for sharing. If you have lost babies, don't give up, don't lose faith. We had a long run, two years. I was pregnant pretty much two years. I was pregnant for three months, not pregnant for two, pregnant for two, not pregnant for two, pregnant again for two, not pregnant again for three, and then pregnant with Jordis. So I was pretty much pregnant for two years. Pregnant, not pregnant, pregnant, not pregnant, because I kept losing. And then I had Jordis. I never, never lost faith. If you have not seen my photo charm, I made in remembrance of my babies and the word faith. I'll, I'll try to show that to y'all. But don't lose faith. I want to encourage you women out there who might be suffering or, or might be challenged in this area or, or having losses or, or struggling. Don't lose faith. Reach out to someone. Reach out to someone who can help you with experience. They've ta they can talk to you. Know that you're not alone. Know that if it's God's will, it will happen. It will happen. Paulette hugs. It's a long journey, and sometimes it's such a hard journey. And, and you know, sometimes we don't understand. We don't understand. But I know so many of my friends have struggled just like me, and I know God puts us through trials sometimes to learn something and to make us stronger. And it's not anything we want. But if we get through the trials, at the end, He will bless us. So please hang in there. Share this with someone you think that can enjoy my dragonfly story. Again, comment if you have anything that resonates with you that way. Um, I love my dragonflies. It just, when I see a dragonfly, I want to stop and I just want to take in the moment because I know that's God's wink. And I know that God sent me that dragonfly today just to remind me of where I've been, of what I went through and what I have. Because we go through such a struggle and then sometimes we take for granted and sometimes maybe I'm too busy for Jordis, or sometimes Jordis is, you know, acting up or, or she's doing something or, or whatever. And it's like, oh, we're having those mom days. And we need to be reminded how hard we fought to have those mom days. Oh, I'm reading some of y'all's comments. So I'm going to send y'all a big bear hug. I love y'all. Please share. I hope this helps someone and heals someone encourages someone not to lose faith and I hope you appreciate my dragonfly story. All right girls, I have to go. Y'all have a good day. Peace out.